Hello everyone, welcome back to the Darkest Dungeon. In the last episode, if you recall, I went wandering around the dungeon for no reason, because I completely failed to notice that the thing that I was scared of was in fact the quest item that would have allowed us to leave at any time we wanted to. However, that's done. We did get quite a lot of cash as a result, although we nearly came a cropper once again of a collector, but we did better at that fight that time, so I think we're learning. Uh, we need more money still. I'm kind of honestly tempted to sell a bunch of the trinkets that I just never use. Um, some of these go for quite a lot of money. I mean, I'm tempted to sell the ones that are Torch Below 51 style. Or Torch Below X, because we just don't do dark runs. Not since the first one, when everything went horribly, horribly wrong. Um, and some of them sell for quite a lot of money. Like, I've never used these. Because we have similar ones for... Just the, the for class based ones, like there's this one here which fit 5% proc. Is, well, maybe that's not quite as similar, but you see what I mean. There are decent ones that will help an individual unit based on their, um, the, their class. So maybe we sell some duplicate. Might we sell this for sure. Yeah. When are we going to take two jesters? We don't even have two jesters. Uh,. This, I mean, some of these, this one, for example, could possibly counteract one of these, and then we have a much better protection on our tank. But really, we're only using a very rare few of them. That's really good, that's really good, that's really good. Probably never going to use this. But I'm actually more tempted to just sell the ones that are common, right? Because at some point, we might want to use these, and if we don't get it back, we're going, oh, I wish I hadn't sold the ones for Torch below 26, so I'm still... Kind of torn between them. Now, that could be really good. Especially if we use something like this to go alongside it. But then we don't have this. Do you see? Uh, so I think we sell... We're keeping the beast ones. The manslayer ones. I think we only need one of these to be honest. We only need one of these. We only need one of these. We only need one of these. Because usually, we're happy to take the negative HP that comes with something. So these are the ones we use as a last resort when we don't really know what to do. Uh, accuracy on range skills. I only tend to use one, if either of those. Uh, but also, I think this one's not that great. I mean, the scouting chance is really good, but we'd never get below 51. Even if we did get below 51, we'd probably want to take other trinkets that benefit us in a a dark run. We do use that and we do use that. But we've never used never used this, because I don't care. And it's common. So we'll sell that. I think that'll do it. We're now at sixteen thousand. And the reason I did that is that I'd like to be able to upgrade the people that we want to take to the cove to do the sodden crew. Now the sodden crew are not actually all that difficult, yeah? So that's not the concern. The concern is the fact that we have to get through the cove. It's an apprentice mission, and obviously I'm still a little bit... I feel bitten by the cove, so I'm a little bit leery of going in there. But it's still good to take something like Marie, Ziki, Raikuda. Like, I'd like to take Viz, but we can't take him with the Vestal. And those that lot is too low level, and of course, Sejiris went on a mission to find himself in some meditative trance. So really, our choices are Megistos. So that's going to be our party, I think. And it's about time we gave this a go. We've been sitting on our laurels for quite a long time. We want to upgrade all of this. And then we'll see how much money we've got left at the end of it. Even that is going to do us some good. 5,800-ish. Which is actually a decent amount. So we should go in here and see whether we want to change any of this. We don't. That's pretty good, but we won't be taking it, I think. Megistos. You're not going to be a damage dealer. I'm tempted to uh, unlock one of these. It will cost a lot to upgrade it to where I want it to be. But it massively... It, well, not massively debuffs, but it significantly debuffs, I suppose. Everybody. Uh, with less 
dodge and less... Be uh, to be honest, I want less accuracy on them. But we're not using most of these, right? There's a knockback and a stun, and then there's the one that activates repost. So maybe we unlock this, because we don't really use this. We certainly don't use this. Upgrade it to full. Take the repost one with a bonus to crit. Take... We won't take crush yet, because I don't want to spend all the money. Spend all the money. And you have got your important ones upgraded. You have got your important ones upgraded. So everyone's fully upgraded and we still have 4,000 left. And I think that's sufficient for a trip to the cove to do this particular boss, which is going to be the first time that we have seen it. So we'll take this. That seems decent. There's a plus heals received as well, and that could be really useful because we're going to want to use uh, Megistos's, um self self mark thingy. Now we haven't unlocked any more camping skills, and they're quite expensive, so I'm not going to. But really, we have a decent amount. This is good. No one has a disease, but we might get one by the end. Um, this is pretty decent. So Marie's coming along with the excellent set of options there. Uh, so let's put our, our other trinkets on. Let's not forget these. It would be very silly to enter a boss mission having forgotten trinkets. Trap disarm dodge is nice. Less stress heals received is okay. Uh, damage on range skill seems like a great idea. Less stun resist doesn't, but you've got to take the rough with the smooth. Smooth? Smooth criminal. Uh, then... I mean, that's pretty good. And that's pretty good. Although less accuracy on rain skills is pretty bad because that's literally half the uh, half the skills. There may be a greater accuracy on rain skills, which is this, but it's less speed. So I'm going to err on the side of speed here and uh, take less to rain skills. We don't need to worry about the trap disarm, I think. And then we'll do the standard thing here of extra everything. Extra healing, super extra mega healing. Disease resist, maybe accuracy seems good. We probably want to use the stun skill on, on Marie here. Do we have that one set? We don't. In fact, that's the one we didn't uh, upgrade. So, maybe I don't want to use it. We've got both blight skills, which is ideal. You're in the wrong position. I was actually going to say we should check that. Um, we've got incision, which is okie dokie. But this is the real one we want here, because there's a, some bleed in there. Clear all corpses. I might take that over incision. Because it will help these two, whose preferred target are close, uh, to do all the damage that we need. And of course, we're going to have damage over time. We're going to have the, the play grenades and stuff there. So we want some bonus to our blight skill, really. So I think there might be one down here. Yeah. Bit less speed, but that's okay. Less stress damage. Uh, and the, we could probably just take an Eldritch thing here, if we have one. I think we do have one, yeah. And that... Less dodge. A bit snide. Uh, that basically should do it for us. We've got a good amount of healing. We've got Blight and Eldritch damage. We've got just general damage and dancing around. Well, do we want that? I think the Sodden crew are either Eldritch or Human. Eight dodge... I mean, just not being hit doesn't necessarily thrill me. Simply because uh, Zeke here is going to be kicking out the heels like nobody's business. Maybe a disease resist? More accuracy again? No, not brilliant. I really want a, another one of those Eldritch Rings. Maybe we give you the Eldritch Ring. Can we do that? No. Because you're, then you're going to be stabby stabby, right? All up in their grills. Like never more. Just more damage in general here with a lot less dodge though. Hmm. Beast, virtue. We are taking the stun. Oh, in fact, we're taking the stun and we have one of those, don't we? Although that, compared to that, there's a lot of less dodge, but the stun resist. I don't think the stun resist is that useful on an apprentice mission. You must remember it's an apprentice mission. Uh, we've taken the stun. We've got everything set up. 
you have got the right set. Yep. 20, minus 20 dodge might be really useful, actually. We hardly ever use this. I'm actually going to turn this on, which puts you back in that position. Yeah, now you're in... Yeah, okay, that's good. Because this one, instead of that one, puts Miri at the back and Zeke taking this illumination, which will debuff them for dodge, um, puts him in the third position. And then you're going to dance back and forth. Apparently between those two positions. But in fact, I'm going to be doing the advance and then the shoot. So this is going to be your position. I don't know why you slightly prefer to be here. Maybe I suppose it's three or four of them can be there. So we're going to keep you where you are. And that's the right set of skills. And you have got this off and this on. Which is the knockback and stun. And then the repost. We are ready. Let us provision. We'll take plenty of food. We don't want to get there stressed. And we would like to be able to eat. We're actually going to take two stacks. Oh. That many. Take three of those because we're going to where we're going. A couple of those for the coral. And then just a stack of torches. Uh, or a stack and a half is usually what we take. Uh, we can cure bleed with Marie, although we may take some damage as a result of waiting for the turn, but that should be okay because we can heal it with Zeke with a party heal. Uh, Anti venom, again, we've got a plague doctor. I think we're okay here. So we will just go. Prying eyes had become a nuisance along the old road, and so I undertook to receive my most curious deliveries by way of marine shipments. A sheltered jetty was accessible by a narrow stone stair off the back of the manor, and a discreet system of pulleys could hoist even the heaviest prizes up the rock face from a securely tied dinghy below. Dinghy, you say? I'm ready when you are. Oh, Jesus, look how far we've got to go. <laughs> and drowning for eternity. Now remember, we're not here for um, we're not here for glory. We're here for a mission. We've got a task to complete. This is actually pretty good. I'm glad that I didn't spend all that money on food. We'll put this in here. <laughs> no food in it. <laughs> okay. Trinkets and baubles. Uh, you're probably our best disarmer. Or in blood. But you need the uh, stress reduction. But we'll be okay. No one's at a level of stress that I'm worried about. Oh, we'll use the other one here. Just go straight for it. There we go. The yips were removed. I didn't expect that. Very well. I think we'll be okay with... I mean, I expect a couple of people are already in a situation where they're going to be pressing... Like, interfering with items and... Tell them not to, right? This is great, the amount of scouting we're getting. It's a secret door, which is annoying because I didn't bring a key, but also I don't want to go that way, so... Kind of glad I didn't, so that I'm justified in not going that way. But missing out on a secret room is missing out on a lot of money, which has happened twice in a row. Um, so I'm not 100% pleased with that. I suppose, <laughs> again, you've got to take the rough with the smooth. We will be sure to take keys in future. And you only get the secret room as a result of scouting. So I guess we should have noticed maybe someone's got a, you know, got a cove scrounger with a good scout chance. So, you know, a lot of things have to come together to find a secret room. All right, well, we don't know where we're going this time for once, but that was a fairly easy trip so far. I'm going to use as torches like prodigiously. There we go. Just exactly for that. Give us a much better chance of surprising them, and I want to be able to surprise them. That's on this. It's seven damage, not all of your damage. But you have a riposte, which I always forget about. I'm always so pleased to learn. So we're going to have to maybe hit one. I mean, we could play grenade the one at the back. We could stun the one at the back, which might be a great idea. What can you hit? You can hit it. With a decent amount of accuracy. So I think we... Uh, Noxious Blast something else. Although that would have killed it. Let me crush this and hope. Perfect. And then Zeke, why don't you stun the one that will take damage without doing damage? Oh, of course, it's not. Could also happen. That's a riposte for you. Thank you. That's a great riposte as well. Hit him again. Nope. Fine. Perfect. No worries. You will not find me complaining about that dodge. 
You are on four and five, so we'll just do this, and that will kill you. Go over, GG. What do we do? Maybe we <laughs> hope for a small chance to heal Raikuda, though. Unforgiving. Not going to happen, but 24. Outrageous. It's only a few HP down, so... Alright, alright. He's, he's trying to bring me down. Talk me down from the, uh, the precipice of the elation of having done so well at the first fight. Here's a slightly more difficult one, but don't forget, play grenade hits both. This is fine. It's a buff, but we can try and stun it with ZP. It's some stress, which is fine. We can uh, remove stress with our camp, which we're going to do as late as possible. Um, that should be obvious. This could kill it. Perfect roll. That's exactly what we needed. Yeah, do that. See if I give a shit. Yeah, look at me caring so hard. Um, I might set up my riposte now. It does do some damage to the unit, which is what I'm counting on. But with the mark, I'm hoping that it... These, I hope these things hit either of the front two units, basically. You can't really complain. Uh, 13 HP. I guess we still try and plague this one, because it can do a lot of stress damage. We don't want to have to overextend ourselves on the, the camp. We don't want to use all our time removing people's stress. That sounds like a terrible idea. Uh, and I would like to also stun this if possible. Or just dodge it. That's not worked out too well for us so far, but we're going to have to start healing soon, so there's a bit of a Hail Mary. You can only shoot that, but it will hit this. For 8 damage, which is not the 24 we had before, but don't forget it's got 58% protection. I mean, bringing uh, debuffs for protection is a, usually a good idea in the cove. Do we repost? We do repost. Oh, although I don't think it was guarded, actually. So now we'll not just blast this loser for one damage and a blight, which completely ignore the protection. And that five damage per round is just so strong. Genuinely cannot complain about that. We don't need to clear corpses yet. And I'm actually going to straight up heal... Raikuda here. 12, which is great. Completely fills up their HP. You've got repost, and then you're going to basically die on the next turn, so we can do what we want. Which is nice. So I'll heal, uh, heal Ziki for a tiny amount. Why not? We've got all the time in the world. 25% damage versus Mark. Thank you for the stuff. Didn't bring a key again, but I mean... Just tank the damage if it's a problem, right? It's a trap! It's not only trapped, but there's nothing in it. Why don't you just not... There you go. Scouting again? Perfect. The battle we can be prepared for. All these rooms have been empty, which has actually turned out to be... Well, apart from that one, obviously. Uh, not too much of a... Bit of a surprise, but it's been a, a good surprise rather than a bad surprise. Oh, we got a shovel back. That shovel fit in that chest. I don't think so. Hello? Don't forget we took damage versus Eldritch, not damage versus humans, which I think was still the right thing to do. We want to kill these. It'll set up Riposte and then the melee units will take some damage. Perhaps in that case it would be a good idea to set up Riposte against a melee unit, which gives us a great chance of killing it sort of as a passive um, result of having set up the Riposte in the first place. You know, do the damage to it and then do the damage again, that'd be great. Or we could just one-shot that one, which had nothing to do with us. Also works. Uh, I'm going to stun... nothing. Dodge? Have you got dodge? Yes, but not enough for me to worry about doing that. So I'll just stun one of the melee units. Prevent it from having a go. Prevent it from doing damage. We survive a little bit longer. This is going a lot better than I was expecting it to. Don't forget all the times that I've been bitten by the cove. They've been either... I've been under-leveled. Or we've been in a later version of the cove with more difficult enemies. So I, I was expecting this to be easier than I gave it, you know, the credit for. Um, but I wanted to be sure. I'm tired of retreating from bosses or losing somebody or both. Just hit it. Actually hit it though, please. Of course you'd hit the one that is not set up for a post. Resisted the bleed though, so I'm happy with that. Another 14 there. So no one's got any damage over time, so we didn't need to waste 
time until we could uh, remove one. Yep, we'll just walk on. Move along, please, sir. We can get to here before we need to use a torch. I thought we have plenty, you know. So it's all fine. And then we can camp before the boss. We could honestly have gone this way without worrying about it at all. But you don't know that, do you? You don't know that up front. Okay, this is a bit of an awkward unit. High dodge, high speed. Stress wave. It's about 15, yeah. We can probably get rid of a lot of this stress, but I, I don't want to have to. I do like doing blight damage to both of these at the same time. Salty gouge for uh, Salty Megistos. Resisted everything, so I'm super pleased with that. We will advance upon... The one that's actually taking damage, I think. Oh my god, okay. We have the repost now, so we can do damage to something else as a result. But I'm also going to activate repost a second time. Zero, perfect, great roll. I think that was like zero to zero, though. <laughs> Can't really be salty if it said you had no chance of doing damage. Ten is great. These are actually coming through now. Don't know if they fixed it. I was looking at the patch notes, we've actually updated. There's a new mechanic for when you return to the hamlet, there's a chance of something happening. The example in the patch notes... Stop stressing this unit out, please. The example in the patch notes... So if you come back from uh, maybe cleansing the ruins of unholy altars, there may be what they call an All Saints Day. Uh, which is... Um, all stress treatments become free for that week, which is great. And then you suddenly put everyone in for stress treatment and, <laughs> you know, nothing happens. Um, we'll kill the one that has a go. Yeah, we did. That was successful. But it didn't explain, or it didn't mention whether there were also... Ooh, crits. Great. Um, negative things that can happen. Maybe if you fail and you come back and everyone's too upset to continue. So hopefully we'll get to see that on this run. If we come back from beating a boss, hopefully there's a, a super buff that you get for having successfully done so. It's going to be a repost. Yep, and that's dead. Sweet. We've got a debuff, but it should go away before we actually need to fight again, so that'd be great. You go back where you belong. I'm not even going to... Look, it's, it's six damage. We'll, we'll heal it on Zeke's next turn. I'm perfectly happy to do that. We can even heal it by eating. Wealth beyond Great. Measure. In fact, we should. Awarded Let's do that. The brave and the foolhardy alike. This is going extremely well. Uh, I may have over-provisioned, but it's better to be safe than sorry. As mentioned, I'm a little bit tired of running away from bosses. That's interesting. Hopefully that's fun. But the battles are going well, and we're collecting just that right amount of stuff. Uh, this may be a tranquil pool, so it might be one of those... Hooray! A buff. Until camp. Resistances, that's nice. Maybe should have given it to the tank, but you don't know what's going to happen. That's also, use also useful, because it gives us some of our HP back, of which we have 52. I mean, we're probably slightly OP In for this run, but it's about time victory. we beat the shit out of the boss rather than them beating the shit out of us. Probably going to go first. Yeah. I mean, we're stressing Marie out, something rotten. I hope in real life Marie is not taking quite as much stress damage from this run as I am. We did just beat the shit out of that guy though, so hopefully you, yeah, you and you appreciated that. I don't know if these are connected. Like, if you crit the thing that's just attacked you, whether that causes you to have more, um, some appreciation for you having done so. We'll start plaguing this thing. That seems like the best use of Marie at the moment. Honestly, the, the two damage on it is great, considering it has 33% protection. And that's pre-buff. Uh, we'll try and stun this. We don't need to heal anyone. At all, really. I mean, that's... Like, seven. Wait, one, two, three, four, five. Five! I can count. Let's set up Retribution. Uh, try and do some damage to this. Again, if these both have repost, which I hadn't remembered about uh, Raikuda's repost, but if they both have repost on, most melee attacks are going to come in on these two units and going to be immediately um, counteracted. It's going to be great. This is 10 damage per round, so that's basically dead. There you go. You're dead. 
If this gets a go before we go to hit it, which it doesn't, that's exactly the roll I needed as well, Migus. Just thank you so much. I'm gonna have to shoot. Might as well shoot this. Clear the corpse, move into position. This dies. Oh, that gets a go. But we reposted and killed it. So I'm very glad that I spent the money, actually, on um, upgrading their weapons. Not just on upgrading their, uh, their their abilities. What is this, though? 10% max HP? It could be okay. Could be worth selling. Do we want to do this? I'm not sure if it's always good or if it can be bad. Might as well give Marie more stress. Right? Oh, what happened? It's a debuff. Until camp? Until camp. Less dodge is pretty bad, but she hasn't dodged anything anyway, so you know, who gives a shit, right? Another room battle with Curia. Hopefully it's a slightly better Curia. Are you going to get a buff? Yes. I wonder if that's uh, sort of a chance of being different things, or if it's always that. Probably should look it up in the wiki, but that would be spoilers. So I'm not going to. Don't touch that. I've got plenty of food. More than enough food. More than more than enough food, to be fair. But, you know, always be prepared. Dip, dip, dip. Stress on a different unit for once. Actually, that's kind of a problem. It means we can't focus all our de-stressing on Marie at the back. Oh, Marie. You just got crit against. I'm not here for that. Beat the shit out of them. Sort it out. Fix it. 5 and 12 and 11. So one more of those should be tremendous. I'll activate Repost again. I do like it. Hope, uh, we kind of want to kill the Thrall. Although we might do just from the Duelist's advance. I'm actually going to focus a heal on Marie here. Oh, another crit. Okay, great. <laughs> basically, I uh, didn't quite undo it. Um, it's basically set up so that... Uh, it seems to be set up. Perfect. So that you are basically going upwards in stress. Because any de-stress you get from a good attack isn't nearly as much damage as you take from any singular attack. Oh, thank you. Again, this is why I like Repost. I haven't seen many people actually using it. Um, but it's so good. <laughs> it's just really, really good. Especially if you can get the units to actually be attacked. So I think we try and stun the one that's gonna... I mean, that seems to do the most damage. Um, rather than this one, which is basically a tank for other things. It does do some damage and it can emit, uh, emit you know, uh, illicit bleed, but illicit is also not the right word. But you know what I'm trying to say. Shush. Four, and that's definitely five, yeah. You know, it, it can give us a bleed, it can do some damage, but it's not really the awful amount of damage that we expect. More crits, though. Uh, from this unit. That's dead anyway. Not quite dead. That's dead anyway, so... We do what we want now. We just hang out. Talk amongst yourselves. Let's chat. Uh, we will... Heal Zeke. So that Zeke doesn't have to heal himself. Shoot you. Lol. 15 damage. That's really good. And that dies anyway. Perfect. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Uh-oh. It's okay. <laughs> now we camp. <laughs> that hasn't gone well. I've touched all these things and I really shouldn't have been. I Gathered close, get that. Don't worry. I am absolutely aware of what I'm doing wrong. Everyone loses 10 stress, which is helpful in the extreme. More damage, more crit. One companion. Self, ranged accuracy, ranged damage, ranged crit. Probably really good. Does take four, so we'll put that at the end. More dodge, more speed, more melee, more uh, more melee damage, and more melee accuracy. Everyone takes less stress damage, and everyone reduces stress by an amount. But I don't think you're religious, so that won't be great. Everyone gets a bit of prop, and oh, I right clicked instead of left clicked. Self, reduce stress, stress by pren. Remove blight, remove bleeding. You can also remove blight and a disease. Has anyone got a disease? I think not. Because no one had one when we came in and we haven't picked one up. Okay, so there's no point doing that. We can reduce... Right, let's just reduce as much of Marie's stress as possible. Simply because that way Marie won't flip out whilst we're fighting the boss. Or at least is less likely to. Less stress damage. 
Oh, that didn't work. <laughs> so now I guess we do this. This one. Reduces everyone's stress to some extent. It's good enough. To do that. Wait. One companion. Oh, what, what, what? This is all companions. Oh, that's... Yeah, that one. Do that. So you've got five less. It's still not great. We might have to put you in for some de-stress at the end. Definitely then going to do this. Ah, uh, no, this. More damage and more accuracy. We, we open with... Um, with the lunge, right? The duelist advance, which is great amount of damage already. Hmm. And so, having that would be... I mean, we'd maybe just take less stress damage so that we keep ourselves away from the, the breaking point. Um, yeah. Darkness oh, great. In Please don't be a difficult one. Could be a difficult one. We're surprised. That's okay. These two are not in optimum positions, but you can point blank shot this. And outright kill it. Perfect. Again, this is going to be immediate stabby, right? It's going to be great. Don't worry about it. Everyone's going first. We may be slowed down simply as a result of the fact that we're, it's dark now. Uh, we repost, I think. They're all the same. Doesn't do much damage. But that's okay. You can actually act, you can do everything I need you to do in this position. This is great. All that shuffled was those two, really. Um, so you're gonna... Honestly, I think I'd rather try and keep them stunned. Because this is... This is a great attack. This is literally half as good. Right? Um, because it only does one unit for the same amount. So I think what we actually do is we disorient one of them, reduce the amount of incoming damage on the next turn if possible, which we managed to do. Uh, in fact, we could try and stun them both and get a little bit of torch up here as well. Look at that. It's now dark six. You are not stunned, so you die. You did miss my eye. We've got repost activated, so we're basically done here. We might as well noxious blast it and just get it done. Five damage, stun comes off. Two people have a go. You have a crush. Kills it outright. Torch comes back. You get a shovel. Great. Might as well switch you around. Simply because there's a couple of things you can't do from the back. There isn't this. Just that. Literally just that. So that's fine. Um, what? This was our new trinket. This was a thing we're not touching. I guess we fight the boss. There's nothing else to do. And we've done so well. You know, Marie's still up, down, uh, up at 54 there, but... Oh, hello. With less stress incoming, I think we'll be okay. Oh, I forgot to switch you around. But actually, that's worked out perfectly well, and I'm happy with it. Which is uh, very unexpected. I kind of want to get around... Well, you might as well not have a go. The shuffle is probably meaningless. It does mean we didn't get our repost on the first go. But we did get to kill the thing that can explode, and we've seen that. We might as well heal everybody. Just to make sure we go into the boss as strongly as possible. But honestly, I, I really don't think it's going to matter that much. That was a bit of a... Dodge and a half. Well done. <laughs> Try again, though. <no>. Nine. <laughs> what are you doing? Attack him. Yeah. Back to the that did zero damage. We resisted and we got stunned. Who cares, right? Bring it on. Have some noxious fucking blast. Yeah, dead. Got one. Did we get to repost if we're stunned? No. Oh, we missed. Not sure. <laughs> Honestly, don't know whether that was a thing or not. Uh... We don't do any damage with Zeke there. That may... Oh, it does do some damage. Maybe an oversight, but... What are you going to do? A crit just at the end there. Knocks a bit of uh, stress off. Now, Megissos is at zero stress, which is also really good. Alright, get in the right position for the boss, at least. We have an anti-venom, which I think we picked up, because I'm pretty sure we used one. Because it would have been there. If only treasure could staunch the flow um, otherworldly corruption. So if this boss decides to venomous, we can always use that in a pinch. All hands on Dick. Who's Dick? Okay, that's not great. You can still advance though. 
Do I want to kill that? Maybe. Or do I just kill that? That's a puller. So I think that just moves people around. It might be okay. We'll see. We're literally just going to have to see. Uh, you might as well move backwards. That's a really bad start. Uh, but I guess it's okay. Oh, forward one. Perfect. So you're going to stun this. I doubt it'll knock it back. Yeah. Because they're stuck in the ground, it's pretty obvious they have a high, uh, high move resist. That was an excellent dodge by Zeke. I very much appreciate it. You are not actually stunned. But we might as well do as much damage as we can to the actual boss. We stunned the boss, so I'm happy with that. Heave 2, what does that do? Send you backwards? Don't know. You dodged it. Thank you for doing that. I mean, these buffs are great, <laughs> I'll be honest. Okay, I don't mind that. So we're going to try and... Um, we're going to try and repost on Megistos as well. We don't have any marking units, which is a shame, because that obviously does... An amount. Do you have a bleed resist? 60%. 110. We could try and bleed it. I mean... It's not useless. And Marie still has a go. Which can be used to... I guess it doesn't matter. Noxious Blast. That's... This does slightly more damage. But this damage over time is going to be extremely valuable. The damage and the bleed, it's already coming down in health. It has slightly less HP than the um, the Collector, which was on 104. So we're already in a good spot. I think we just, like, hit this. A pummeling, indeed. So now both of these units are going to do extra damage, provided they actually, you know, take, take attacks. You're on bleed, but you can heal yourself. And at this stage, I'm not worried about anyone's HP, so I think we just continue to try and stun this. Is that the stun? Yes. That's going to be moving us around. What is your stun resist? Only 50%. So I was kind of hoping to get a bit more... Um... Ah, yes, okay. don't know if that's just going to keep you out of it for a while or um, be an actual problem, but I'm going to Noxious Blast this thing. Do you want to heal yourself? No. I think getting rid of this might cause... You know, Megastos to be available sooner. So I'm going to advance on it. We can't advance literally because obviously Megastos is completely chained to the ground here. You still get a go. What the heck? So that's gone. Honestly, I have no idea of the purpose of that if you can still use your attacks through it. That's going to be a bleed, which we didn't get. Um, I think one more round of doing damage to this. The fact that it can spawn something and move backwards is a bit, you know, excuse me. The repost is perfect, thank you. I'm gonna have to reactivate this in a minute. No repost? It's a move. You're in a fine position. We could even kill this. Nah, we can't. But we have to shoot it with that. Or we could open another vein, which is probably a good idea. Killing the boss is usually a better idea than killing the thing at the front. We've seen what this can do. It holds someone in position, but does not prevent them from doing stuff. Which, honestly, I don't quite understand the value of, but... It is what it is. We didn't bring any bandages. We do have the anti-venom in case it blights us. It doesn't seem to have a blight attack. Um, but, that being said... Uh, the bleeds that we are getting don't seem to be that important in the first place. I'm still kind of ready for the Vestal to actually need to heal somebody. There we go. I think now is the time for a party to heal. Maybe just one. You know, top us off. But we're doing really well here. Look how close to death this thing is. That'll, that'll do it, in fact. That was excellent. Oh, that dies anyway, so we didn't need to worry about it at all. We've got another damage versus human, which I will take and sell. In fact, we've got one of each of these, so I'm going to uh, get rid of both of these. Take those. Probably should have got rid of the anti-venom because... Um... <laughs> selling three shovels back is slightly more money than selling one anti-venom back, but who freaking cares? We've done it. It was easier than I'd made it out to be, but I'm glad that I took the opportunity to upgrade those units. We did bring back a lot of heirlooms as well, and you have come home with rabies, which is okay. Less accuracy is maybe not that great for you because some of your skills already have a debuff to accuracy. You are now level two. Oh no, you're already level 2. You're not quite level 3, but everybody else is. You're scared of the ruins and you're stressy. That's fine. Let's see if we get uh, an event in town. In truth, I cannot Holmesy lost a thousand gold for fuck's sake. That letter. 
After donating generously. Okay, well, I hope you donated to something that will ultimately improve the economy and therefore quality of the hamlet. Uh, Mr. Steve is now a meditator, which... Okay. Fair enough. Well, camping as well is decent. Uh, you are now calm, which is not a problem for Bagel, because Bagel is basically a healer. Hemophilia is gone. These both were cured, which is what I was hoping for, but I didn't say it, just in case. And Sir Jairus is back. We have three level threes now, so we're running out of low level units completely. We may have to start letting people die just so that we can do low level missions, but we've done all the low level bosses that existed uh, there, so... See that? These are all the low level ones, and then we're back to the Hag of the Necromancer, etc, etc, so... These are going to be level three bosses. So we're done. So we're quite happy to let these people level up at their will. Holmesy, what is what is your... Okay. Fizz has rabies, which actually I think is okay for Fizz, because he's basically a dog anyway. Um, 95, 105, 95, 95. So I think I'm going to be okay with having a bit less accuracy there as well. In exchange for the, you know, commensurate damage upgrade. We have a lot of stuff. That was a great mission. Very happy with it. It took a bit longer than I anticipated, but I wanted to make sure we were completely prepared. We might as well do this so that we can afford to upgrade this. people in future. The wise slightly more likely. For what he will face. Um, there's not much more here. Um, it's going to be a while before we can even afford to upgrade the people, and it's going to be a while before we have the people. Uh, unless it's... Actually, these people probably can... No, that needs um, Hero Resolve 5. So there's only two people that can actually go this high anyway. And it's going to be extremely expensive to get that. So I'm honestly not too concerned with getting these up. But I might reduce the cost somewhat. See how much it will cost to produce... How many do we need? Like 13. Twenty-one. I think that's worth it. Plus, oh, you can do it more than once. Okie dokie. Then we'll do that, Fan the and then we can do it again. The metal. I'm not going. We are raising an army. So we didn't get an event. That's okay. They're only new. Training is now less expensive, and upgrades are cheaper. So we should now be able to see that if we have a look at some of these. 2400 is uh, less than it used to be, 1200 is less than it used to be, it was like 1400 before, so that's okay. And in the guild, we can probably, oh, okay, we can probably afford to maybe reward Marie for Vigilance. Now it's only 750 to get just to this stage, and these used to be 600, now they're 500. Um, probably hold off on that, we do have a lot of money, so I think this might be a good time to A, sort by stress. Probably just Marie, yeah. Honestly, at, at more than 50, I think it might be worth going somewhere just inexpensive, but... Mm, 17. What's the cheapest place we've got? It's all the same, really. Do you get improved? Yeah, while meditating. So we'll put you in for meditation. It's going to cost us like a twelfth of our money, obviously. But I think it's valuable. Anyone above 50% who is doing this well, at least. Uh, especially, I should say. Um... It is worth it. They can definitely go and get themselves cleared up. Let's see what missions there are and decide whether we want to do them. See, this is already um, a new boss here. There's a level 3 boss here, level 3 boss here, level 3 boss here. So maybe it's going to be another few boss runs before too long. But now that Sajaris is back, uh, we can start leveling these units up. So that seems like a good idea. So maybe we try and do a Warren's mission or a Wield mission with... DT is very low level, but we don't have any really easy dungeons um, that we can that we can go into. So that's a long apprentice mission. So that might actually be two episodes or it just might be something to watch whilst, I don't know, writing the next War and Peace. Uh, but until we actually do that, I'm going to say this is the end of this episode. Thank you for watching. I hope you're enjoying the series. I certainly am. I hope you're enjoying the new uh, look of the thumbnails. I hope you have checked out the fact that James Viz here is doing his own new series on Enter the Gungeon, which is not the same as Darkest Dungeon. Uh, I may at some point start saying Darkest Gungeon, Enter the Dungeon, that sort of thing. But Darkest, Darkest Gungeon 
Uh, I don't know what Gark is. Yes, thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.